All right, I want to start off this video by saying a huge thank you to Living and Learning Life for your uh, PayPal donation for uh, the boat build. Uh, Ma'am, you are much appreciated. Um, guys and gals, Living and Learning Life has been an awesome supporter of my channel, and I wanted to give her a, a little special uh, shout-out for that, for the PayPal donation for the boat build. If you do not know what I'm talking about, a little odd card will pop up at the top. Uh, go check that out after this video. Watch this video first and then go check it out. But live and learn life. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Let's get this video going. Hey guys and gals, what's crack a lack and spicy here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. As you see, we are back in the woods again. And I got a tent set up behind me. <clears throat> we got here last night. Um, and I didn't do any recording because it was just I was running behind I uh, went to Texas to uh, niece's birthday and then I had to run back uh, to Arkansas and then run and catch up over here we are at Lake Columbia in South Arkansas and we're doing a little camping uh, just two night camp uh, we camped last night and we'll be here tonight but this time instead of taking my hammocks uh, we brought a tent and it's very simple. I'm gonna open up tent. And I'll show you the, the setup. It's nothing. We got two cots in there, and that's it. We got our little food and stuff that we need. <clears throat> the campsite that we're at, uh, this camping I call luxury camping. Um, it's not roughing it by no means. Uh, we do have uh, electric if we wanted it, which I don't have anything to plug into it. But if we wanted to, I could bring you know a fan or something out here. But we do have electric, and I think they do have water. I'm not going to use that. Um, and also at this campsite, they have a bathroom um, right there. They have a bathroom, and they have a shower. Again, if that's what you want to do. This, like I said, this is kind of a luxury-style camping. Uh, you take your family out to one of the state parks and stuff like that. Uh, this is Lake Columbia State Park in uh, right outside of Magnolia, Arkansas. Did bring my boat with me and I got a trot line we're gonna set out today I went out last night to try to fish but my battery did not charge up um, it died on me about 30 feet from the boat dock it died on me so I gotta get this thing charged up um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook it up to my truck uh, jumper cables up to the truck and I'm just gonna let it run for about 30 minutes let my alternator charge my battery uh, and I think I should be good for tonight but let me open up the tent and I'll show you just how we got it set up. It ain't no big deal. All right, so in the tent, we have two cots. One right there and one right there. That's what we're sleeping on. And nothing in the middle. It's just open. Uh, that'll just give us room to walk in. But I'm gonna close it up so no mosquitoes and stuff like that get in there. All right, so I got some wood and I got a little fire pit right over here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make a little fire and get some breakfast going. All right, so I got some breakfast going right now. We are cooking some sausage in a skillet uh, on the fire. Yeah, I just I made a little fire in this little pit, and um, <clears throat> with that fire, I'm using to cook this. Uh, got the sausage cooked. Next thing we're gonna do is add some eggs. And I had to go get some eggs from the store because my chickens ain't laying eggs at the moment. I don't know what their deal is, but they better hurry up and start laying eggs or they're going to get in the crock pot. No, I ain't got to that part of the video yet. I'm kind of working backwards. Things are bad out here, man. Yeah, I All right, so we got some sausage and egg cooked up. Mmm. Now, deep now. 
All right, so right now we're just chilling. Um, actually, everybody in the camp is leaving today. It's it's Sunday, and um, of course, you know, people stay Friday night, Saturday night, and they leave Sunday. So, me and Bo, we're gonna pretty much have the camp all to ourselves tonight. That'd be pretty nice, but I am putting together a trot line right now. So me and Bo can go set this out and we'll fish this today and tonight and hopefully catch some nice sized catfish. But I'm going to get this trot line put together and we're going to go set it out. And then me and Bo's going swimming. It's been almost a year and a half since I've been in a lake swimming. So yeah, time to do it. But this trot line, this thing's taking me forever to put together. Definitely should have done this before I come camping, but it's okay. We're we're relaxing. Bo's reading a book, drinking him some coffee, and I'm putting this chart line together. The freaking ticks are horrible out here. I guarantee you, I've done found like 30 ticks, and I had to get off. Luckily, none. Well, I had one bite me. The rest of them I just kind of picked off. But yeah, ticks are bad. So we definitely got our bug spray. I done sprayed my shoes so they wouldn't crawl up my leg no more. I sprayed Bo's boots. So we went swimming. That was fantastic. Felt good to get in the water and relax for a little bit. Come back to the uh, tent and I took a little nap. Uh, Bo's been reading a book. He's still reading. About almost done with the whole book. And I was like, man, I need some coffee. It's, it's coffee time. But then I realized we don't have a percolator. I got like three of them but didn't think about bringing it. So let me show you what I got set up to do that. So I got my water boiling in my little bear bowl. This is a foldable collapsible bowl. Um, a link for this will be down in the description below. This thing is awesome. And I have it on this little propane bottle. And then for my coffee pot, uh, took one of my Powerade bottles after I finished it off and I cut the top off about right there and I flipped it over and stuck it back inside itself just like this and I put a filter in the top and put some coffee in it so whenever my water heats up uh, hot enough to where I like it I'll just bring it over here I'll just pour it over the coffee filters and let it drain through the bottom coffee pot coffee time Oh yeah. Mmm, holy macaroni man. I think that works almost as good as my little percolator I got. That's some good coffee. So Right now, um, we've just been kind of relaxing. We ate a couple snacks, and I went to go try to set out the trot line a little bit earlier ago, but we had some problems, and I had to come back and, and, and do, some, do some thinking, get back to the drawing board, and I think I know how I'm going to fix my situation. Um, there's no trees here. I mean, they're all on the bank, so it's just grass and stuff on the shore, so I'm just like, well, dead gum. But I do find like one or two little stobs in the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie onto that stob and just run straight out into the middle of the lake. It's not going to be in the middle of the lake, but I'm, that's where I'm headed towards is the middle. But the problem that I was having is I don't have any kind of weight. I need probably about, I don't know, 15 to 20 pounds of weight for my trot line. Um... And the only reason why I said that, you know, 15 would be good. I'd want to do a little more, 20, 25, because of the size catfish that they have been catching in this lake. Uh, they, I've been reported anywhere from 25 to 45 pound blue cat in this lake. If we can get one of them, holy macaroni. But, okay, so I didn't have a weight. I'm trying to think what I'm, what I'm going to do. I was like, well, I can find a brick somewhere, but that's not heavy enough. So what I'm going to do, and y'all can't tell my wife because she will be mad. I'm going to take my pillowcase here, and I'm going to fill my pillowcase up with rocks. And then tie the end of it off, full of these rocks, 
and then tie my trot line to this uh, pillowcase and sink it. Baby, if you're watching this, I do apologize. I'm going to really destroy my pillowcase. But, that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to have it tied to a tree all the way out to an anchor point. Um, I'm not going to bring y'all with me uh, on this trip, but whenever we go check the uh, trout line, I will bring y'all with me. So, uh, Bo went to go change out of his swim clothes into his regular clothes, and now we're going to head on out yonder. Alright, so fishing has not turned out to be what I thought it was going to be. We have not caught nothing yet, no, so no excitement on the fishing part. But, speaking of fish, I did bring some fish that we caught the last camping trip and I'm frying that up on this little barbecue pit built me a little fire up underneath it and uh, got me a skillet and some earl frying up some fish looking good oh and this uh, this can right here yeah, that's my spatula because I thought this spoon right here was you know heat resistant it's not as soon as I stuck it in the grease it just started melting so one thing that I have figured out on this trip is as far as camping, luxury camping like this, like I said, I've got a lot of work to do. Um, I, I am without a whole bunch of stuff that would make luxury camping like this a whole lot better. Even camping, going out and doing some wild camping, just make it easier and better on you. And I'm going to get it figured out and we're going to make this a whole lot better. But right now, my little canned spatula... <laughs> Yeah, scoop. It'll work. It'll do for now. But Bo's hunger. He he said, uh, Terry, please feed me. Or he, you know, I'm Terry to him. He don't know me as spicy. Spicy, please feed me. I'm hungry. I was like, me too. I got a headache. Not eating all day. We ate breakfast this morning. That was it. Doing all this running, going, fishing, sweating. Time to eat. But we're gonna go out in just a little bit and check those trout line, that one trout line, and see if we got anything. And uh, me and Bo's probably gonna take it easy the rest of the evening. And in the morning, we're gonna load up and go home. All right, so we are here at the trout line now, and we've got like three in a row. Little channel cat, get in the boat. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I don't have no uh, pair of pliers. No, we don't do it. That's a nice size little channel cat. Yeah. Oh, I can shake them off. Okay, shake them off. All right, let me let me put bait on these hooks right quick, and I'll bring it right back. All right, so we thought we had three catfish, but uh, we had two catfish and this little turtle right here. This little red ear slider. Um, of course, we're not gonna keep it, but I've got to get the hook out. And I'm trying not to hurt it too bad, but I want to stretch the neck out and grab the neck and hold it. So now I can kind of pry this hook out somehow. There we go. There we go, little buddy. Let go. I need it. There we go. I'm not hurting it, but okay. There we go. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, so a little red ear slider. That is awesome. He is not happy with me right now. But that's a that's a good size red ear. But he's going back in the water. And rebake this up. Golly, he messed my line all up. Um this hook is messed up. I don't know if I'm gonna I'm not gonna put anything on that one. It's it's messed up. So we're just going to continue on checking our lines. All right, okay. All right, so we got four catfish, decent size. Um, and this was all on stink bait. Uh, this is the very first time of me using stink bait as bait for catfish, and it turned out really good. Now, we did bait uh, the rest of the lines up with stink bait, um, and we're going to check it one more time tonight, probably about 12-ish. Uh, um because the snake bait won't last too long on the on the hook, but um, when we come back, we'll just bait up with uh, weenies, and then we'll ch we'll check it in the morning. But uh, yeah, four. Hey, that's not too bad. Twenty-five hook trot line. 
Oh, and a turtle. Don't forget about the turtle. Well, good morning. Uh, we are breaking camp. Got the tent down already. Now I got to load up everything on the table. And then we're going to go out and pick up our trot line. We'll check it and pick it up as well. And then me and Bo's going home. I need a shower. Because, um, yeah, again, I stink. I smell like fish and stink bait. Oh, man. But we did good last night on trot line. We went and checked it again and caught four, Bo. We caught four. And one was five pounds, 14 ounces, 15 ounces. Five pounds, 15 ounces. That was a gigantic one. Uh, be nice to have another one of those on the line this morning. So, anyways, let me get this all packed up. I'll be right back with y'all. So, of course, I'll leave my camera in the truck when we go check the truck lines. I am uh, trying to back up to uh, load my boat up now. Well, if I take the emergency brake off, that'd help. But we, we did pretty good. We got four more fish, and one's a really good size. We're gonna have to put the uh, scale on it. But we are loading up the boat now. That's going to be good enough, Bo. I don't want to be down there too much. So we just kind of pulled right down here off the side of the bank, and uh, we're gonna load up the boat. Let me get down here and help Bo. All right, so we caught this big joker on the truck line and I'm going to put it on the scale to see how much it weighs. All right, <clears throat> that is five pound, three ounces. So another five pound, the um, one we caught yesterday was five pound, 14, 15 ounces, but this thing is nice gonna make, make a nice fillet we caught two like this and then <clears throat> the rest of them about this size now this will make perfect uh clean them whole and fry them whole that's gonna make perfect uh little fish steaks out of them but we are uh that's it that's it for us so i'm gonna get all this stuff out of the boat in the back of the truck and it's time to go home all right, guys, so we are here at Bo's house. I'm finna drop him off, and then I'm going home, uh, putting the fish on ice and getting in the shower. I'll, I'll clean those fish later today or even in the morning. The trip was okay. We was a little unprepared for everything as far as, you know, cooking utensils and eating stuff and food, but I think we made it. We survived, didn't we, Bo? <laughs> and the fishing um, last night and today kind of made worthwhile i mean the yesterday we didn't catch no fish but last night the fish started finally started biting and we caught some so that was that was good hold on i'm making a video so we are that's it for our trip um of course it was two days in this one video and the next trip we got planned is going to lake erland it's a little more off grid um away from everything so it'll be a lot more rough than it like it was the last trip um, and I don't know we may take <clears throat> we may take the hammocks because I was watching a couple of videos and doing some reading I slept in the hammock all wrong So obviously I didn't have a good experience because I didn't do it right I think Bo said we want we want to make that about a three-day camping trip and I think it'll be pretty good make a good video So guys and gals that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it If you did remember give that thing a thumbs up because those things are awesome helps my channel out and um, I'll see y'all in the next video. Until then, remember, everybody has a little backwoods in them. I'll catch you later.